Hi, this is Steve from Conductive Labs, and in this video we're talking about the uh, labels on the MRCC. There are two label um, screens, one's assign labels and one's edit labels, and they're closely related. So if you're watching this video first, you should probably watch that video also, and vice versa. Okay, so if you look at this uh, screen right up there, it's pretty easy. It says import one. If I change it manually by pressing the buttons, they, those change, or I could just come over here and rotate the knob and you'll see the, the lights move. So two different ways to choose which port. Let's choose um, let's choose port A. Okay. And I come down here and I'm screw now this is a list of all the different names. So a label is just a name that you're assigning to a port like a scribble strip was back in the uh, days when you had masking tape on your mixing console. Um, anyway, uh, there's a list of preset ones that are in there that you can't delete. There's about 15 of them are generic. Um, and then also, if we we'll go down, scroll down here, and we'll see the iRig 37, which is what we have plugged in there. Now, how did that get in there? Well, it got in there because when I plugged it in, the USB uh, negotiation with the MRCC actually tells the MRCC what the name is of the device being plugged in. And so I store those names. So as we scroll through this list, you'll see some generic ones, and then you'll see ones like Keystep and Keystep Pro and Launchpad and... Um, Let's see, nano key. So I did NTS. So th those various <laughs> labels got in there by just plugging them in. Uh, let's go back to um, the iRig, which just starts with an I, okay? And then you come down here and you hit assign. Okay, so now, ah, what did I do? I don't think I did that right. Of course I didn't. Come down here and hit, you gotta hit the black button here, assign. Doink, okay, now it's assigned. So, when do you see these labels? Well, if we come back up to uh, routing and I want to route A, you'll notice in the blue strip it says in iRig 37. You may not have noticed before, but if I go to one, it just says in none. None is actually the label and there's no label, so it's just telling you that quickly. Again, if we go to A, you can see that. Now, if you want to see the labels of any port without actually switching to it, you just hold the shift button and you can just press this down and it will tell you the label on that particular port. And the only port that we've got a label on is A. Okay, um, and then you just do your normal assigning like you would. Let's go back to that page and talk just for another minute about how you get things in this box. So we in the other page, I'm sorry, the next page called the edit labels, you're able to literally plug in a keyboard and type uh, a, a QWERTY keyboard, a, a computer keyboard, and be able to type the names in. And so there's two kind of steps to this. And I architected it this way because I figure if you buy an MRCC and put it in your studio, you can just get your keyboard from your computer or wherever, plug it in, and just type all the things in that aren't USB um, into your MRCC and store those on this list. And then you could take your keyboard, your QWERTY keyboard away, put it back on your computer, and then all those names would just be in there sort of as a database. Um, and if you ever need to add or edit, you could just bring a keyboard back and, and do it that way. I was going to put a little keyboard on that miniature screen with those buttons, but I decided that was kind of ridiculous. So anyway, um, two ways to get these labels in. One is by typing. One is by just plugging in a USB. And assigning, as you saw, was pretty easy. So thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope you watch the next one called Edit Labels. Take care.